Hey everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to my channel, and we are finally at the end of this challenge month. We are on day 30 or 30 days of November challenge month, and I thought, well, I've started it off alright. I thought I'm going to end it with a bang. This happens to be one of my favourite films of the 70s genre. Well, not to do that. Not 70s genre, 70s decade. I apologise. <laughs> um, so, I am actually going to end the movie with a favourite movie of mine. I quite see myself watching this quite a few times a year. And this movie is no exception. And the movie I've picked is Every Which Way But Loose. Directed by James Fargo. Produced by Robert Daly, written by Jeremy Joe Cronesberg, starring Clint Eastwood as Philo Bedo, Sandra Locke as Lynn Halsey Taylor, Jeffrey Lewis as Orville Boggs, Ruth Gordon as Ma Boggs, John Quaid as Chola, the biker leader, Beverly D'Angelo as Echo. Dan Vardis as Frank, who was the assistant head biker. Roy Jensen as Woody, secretary biker. Bill, McKin Bill McKinney as Dallas, treasurer biker. William O'Connell as Elmo, sergeant in arms biker. Jeremy Joe Cronesberg as Bruno, who was another biker. Gary Davis, another biker. Scott Dockstader, biker. Owen C. Harvey, another biker. Jean LaBelle, Jerry Willis, Judson Scott, they were all bikers. James McEachin as Herb, Walter Barnes as Tank Murdoch, Gregory Walcott as Putnam, Hank Warden as the trailer court manager, George Chandler as DMV Clark, and Carrie Michael Schiefer as Kincaid's manager. And my favourite character of all is Manus, who was Clyde the orangutan. <laughs> Music by Stephen Dorff. Cinematography by Retford L. Metz. Edited by Joel Cox and Ferris Webster. Production company is the Malpaso Company. Distributed by Warner Brothers. Release date December 20th, 1978. Movie starts off with Philo Beddo, who is a truck driver that lives in San Fernando Valley in a small house with an orangutan called Clyde. Behind that of his friend Orville Boggs and his mother, Philo also makes money as a bare-knuckle fighter and is often compared to another fighter by the name of Tank Murdoch. Then one night, Philo becomes smitten with Lynn Halsey Taylor, who is a country music singer, whom he meets at the Palmino Club. Sorry, my nose is dripping. It's that time of the season. It always happens. <laughs> Whom he meets at the Pall Mall Club, which is a local honky-tonk bar. He thinks that his relationship with Lynn is going well until one day she disappears with her trailer from the park site. Philo believes that he's falling for her. They set off for Lynn's home in Denver, Colorado. Along the way, they he he has a hunt. Uh, he has a run-in with a gang called the Black Widows, who Philo runs a mock on them after two of them insult him and Clyde at a traffic light stop. Philo chases after them and takes their bikes and money off them. But each time the Black Widows goes after Philo, it ends in disaster. Philo also gets shouted at by a policeman called Putnam, and they have a fight in the Palmino bar. Then the policeman and the Black Widows follow Philo on his trip to Colorado with awful and Clyde, they join Philo to Denver. On the way, they meet a lady called Echo, who be en ends up becoming Orville's girlfriend. They make money along the way and book fights for Philo. After the fight in a slaughterhouse, the man who was holding the money tries to shortchange Philo. Then Echo fires a gun. And the man hands over the money. Lynn knows that Philo has come to look for her, so she hires Snow. So she and the Black Widow try to get him into a trap. 
Philo sees Lynn and tries to talk to her, but is then surrounded by the Black Widows and fights most of them off, off until Orville steps in and he uses a garbage truck and dumps all of the bikes into the back of the truck. The Black Widows charge the garbage truck, but Orville gets away from them. Then, Fi then Philo, Echo and Orville escape. Philo finally finds Lynn and she tells him how she really feels about him. Then Philo says that she's the only one dumb person that just doesn't... No, he's the only one dumb person that just doesn't want her for one thing. That means basically to take her to bed and have his way with her because, because he actually loves her. Uh, then Lynn erupts in a rage and hits repeatedly until she gets in tears. Then Orville finds out that Tank Murdoch is ready to retire after one more fight. Orville makes the fight happen and Philo fights Tank Murdoch. During the fight, the crowd initially backs Murdoch, who insults Philo and says he's going to be the next Murdoch. Philo lets his guard down, who gives Murdoch a clear shock. Wait, shot which knocked Philo down for a count. Murdoch now gets the crowd backing him. And he ends up that he's allowed to retire undefeated. Clyde, Orville and Echo head home the next day. The end. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what can I say about every which way but loose? For starters, one of my favourite lines in that film is Right turn, Clyde. Boing! <laughs> I love that line. See, that's why, even though I love Clint Eastwood in this movie, and I like Sandra Locke, um, Clyde stole the show for me. Um, just the way he was in the film he was like pulling tongues he was like a and then he was going basically putting the middle finger up and he was just doing funny things but he was so affectionate towards like Clint Eastwood it was like his best friend and even in another scene which I didn't want to talk about in the review but I'll mention it here um Clyde was like a bit jealous of Philo because he you knew because he was in love with um, Lynn. And uh, Clyde wanted a bit of action, so they find a zoo for Clyde. <laughs> and Clyde goes in the zoo <laughs> and he finds someone and he basically does the deed with her. And it was just so funny, you know, how they portrayed it and how they shot that scene. It was just absolutely brilliant. I mean, the whole film was just funny. It had comedic elements. It was just so hilarious. It was unbelievable. I mean, and it was so good for its time. But to me, even though the film came out in 1978, the film to me is like it's like Gremlins. It's a timeless movie. That's how I feel with Every Which Way But Loose. It's a proper timeless movie. You can watch it any time, and it never gets old. It gets funny every time you watch it. And that's what I like a film to be. A film that will never get old, and it'll be just so funny every time you watch it. So. Yep, that's my review for Every Which Way But Loose. You know I'm going to give this the big smackaroonie 10 out of 10. Because from start to finish, this is one of the films that makes me laugh. I just find it funny. Every single scene, even the scenes with the whole the Black Widow, the biker gang, where every time they try to do something, and they think they're going to win. They always end up losing. It was just crazy. I just... All I can say about the film is... It is a, it's a timeless film, as I said. It's a film you can watch over and over again. 
And it's also one of them films, you know, if you feel really down in the dumps about something, you feel a little bit sad. I think it's one of them films that it's a bit of a pick-me-up. You put that film on and it'll instantly get you laughing. That's what I feel with certain films and that's one of them. So, yeah. I really hope you've enjoyed this 30-day challenge one. And I apologise for not having these up on time. It's just I've had a few things on my mind. And I really... In the end, I will talk about these things, but for right now, it's not the time or the place. I'm just happy that I've actually completed it. It didn't matter if it took me six days, seven a week over, like the time allowed, but I felt that it needed to be completed for my channel so I could move on to other stuff because I do have a, a few other stuff planned for this channel but it's just when when do I have the time to upload stuff I want to upload up, upload vlogs that because there's a few vlogs that I'm dying to do and I'm dying to tell you all what's going on and stuff like that and and just everything so, I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. But I do have one very, very special video coming up in a couple of videos' time. Um, and it's something that just needs to be said. And I'll explain it when it comes to the video because it's not going to be... The next one, it's going to be the video after that because I'm going to be doing four, vid four videos today. So, yeah. So, stay gory, have unpleasant dreams, and I will see you soon. Ta-ta for now. Bye.